before we start i need to mention that i updated the headers variable so it is now an associative variable where the header name are the keys and then also the properties are the width of the headers and then here the data we have the array keys and then inside we have the content and then the align properties so here inside in our function as you can see it is showing our hard coding the number of indexes or headers so we don't want that one so here is an updated version where we just look to the number of headers and then here we have the display of the header name so we'll just look to the headers and then here we get the width and here on the content side we'll just use this one uh, we'll just get the content the width and then the alignment so now um we can remove our old old code so this one um we're going to get rid of this and then here also we can remove this one this is the old code so now let's start adding the code for our different data so let's start with our suppliers so let's go to our admin uh, in the sidebar um no, no the report csv um we can just grab this code and then put it inside this report pdf so here let's paste and then here we can just update the headers so I'll just copy and then paste it and then here um let's try to export the csv file i mean excel file and see what columns we added on that or we shown the file so we're just going to use that one copy um let's try to set or write the key so this is the first column the supplier id then here we need to be created at the supplier location the email then the created by and then here uh, for now let's just copy and paste the width of the um header so let's just copy paste uh, let's remove this one and then here um the inside the, the data let's remove this code we don't need it and then here let's just copy this code um, copy that put it inside then here we can grab the content align properties and then remove this one and then this variable let's try to replace this one with the correct so it should be supplier uh, this one will be created at um, the location uh, this will change it to supplier um, the email address and then the created by which is this property so now let's try to refresh and then click pdf so we have an error so on line 215 
So here we need to set the heliport tether key. So this is the supplier key. Let's name it supplier report. And then, so as you can see, the column sizes are very small. So here we can just update in this section the columns. So let's try to update it, make it better. So now here let's update the height of the cell so as you can see it's bigger so let's try zero so they don't have space so I'm thinking of adding a new parameter inside this function so it will be a row height and then let's just set that one to the variable then here can add the variable so let's remove this one uh, just copy the variable in here default to 30 and then for the supplier report going to use or set the width or height to 20 so as you can see it's working fine let's set it to 10 so as you can see it's looking good um, so let's just update with for this one and set it to 660 so as you can see here it's looking better now let's export the delivery data so here in our sidebar let's set the href to the report key to delivery then here to our um, csv file let's check the type or the headers that we set and we'll display this one to our pdf file so these are the columns now here we can just copy the delivery and then put it inside our pdf file so here let's copy the columns and place it there then let's add the key so this is his delivery report time let's name it um, delivery report now here let's, let's close this one just copy the headers and then also the data variable um, so here delivery So these are the headers, so let's just copy this one, okay, so let's update the variable or our keys, then let's add this one for the created by. Uh, next thing is let's update the data, so let's move it inside the um, delivery. <coughs> so we don't need this code, let's remove this code so we don't need this one um, for now let's remove this then also the inner loop um, let's remove them so move this one let's paste the data
actually um this one this should be the data variable and then here this should be the header so let's just uh, move this one so the, this is the header so let's move it to the top and then I pick the variable to headers and then here this would be the data so let's just copy and then paste and then let's try to check uh, let's update variable to delivery refresh let's see if this will work so 9 to 79 so let's add comma let's refresh as you can see here it's showing fine but the width uh, it's not looking good so let's update the width so as you can see here um, it's looking good now let's just set the height of the row so let's set it to 30 so it's still high so this one looks good to me and then let's just update this one uh -huh. um, let's add more to the bunch add more width so this looks good now let's add a feature to our purchase order so let's update our report.php and set this one to pdf then here let's copy and then paste it to our report pdf file so let's create this report header so let's name it purchase order report then here um, let's copy the headers and also let's paste it here and then all the data and paste it here so let's align properly then here um, can get rid of this code so this one we don't need that one the inner loop we don't need it then here we don't need it uh, let's move them so here let's completely remove this code now here let's try to x1 excel see what columns we should display to our pdf file so let's just scroll down paste and then here let's update the keys So here should be purchase order created at then created by and lastly I think that's the last column then here let's move inside and then let's just update the keys based on the ordering we set in our headers so let's just now let's just copy this one paste and then update the properties the content and the align properties so this is easier
Next thing we need to do is going to update the keys. So let's just copy and then update the keys. So this is created at and created by then here the variable it should be order um, product instead of delivery so here um, let's remove this alias um, no, let's add E column for our product name. So let's check our database. Um, need to join the products. And then here, from the order of product, there is a link column, which is the product column. So I can then use order product that product equals to products that ID then here in our select let's add that column select that column and here we're going to add that product name so for our header let's add it first so this should be product name then let's just grab that variable um, product name and then here it should be a product name now let's refresh export PDF so here we have an error created that so we don't have that key so it is this order product so we can just remove that order product Let's refresh as you can see here uh, we have the data now we we'll just update the um, the rows the width for each of the cell first let's set the row height to 10 then let's update the width for each of the cell make sure it we are showing all the columns in our PDF file. Then here, uh, let's just update this naming uh, length for our header so we can make sure that these columns will have our it showing properly in our PDF file. So you now um, it's looking good. So I guess this is better. So let's refresh. Let's just close down or refresh. So you yeah, export the product. It should open on a new tab. So let's update each of this link and add the target set to blank. So it will open to a new tab. So now let's try to check. So we have the product, and then here we have the supply reporting. Next, we have the delivery report, and then lastly, we have the PO order report.